as we celebrate International Women's Day, we at the Organization of African, Caribbean, and Pacific States turn to history, to 50 years ago when in Guyana the founding leaders of our organization created an institution that hold, among other, among other things, promote solidarity among nations. The status of women in our society was certainly on their minds. Looking back, women have made tremendous strides in our member states and the world. An increasing number of women are at the core of decision-making institutions. Yet, there is much to be achieved in this struggle for ultimate equality. We must work together to ensure that difficulties that girls and women are facing become a thing of the past. When we look back at their achievements, our societies have met, such as overcoming colonial status, taking the interest of disadvantaged minorities, and an increased awareness of the state of our environment. We find that women have been right at the center of the struggle. The OECPS was founded on the principle that our societies should benefit rightly in an increasingly globalized world marked by significant leaps in technology. Unfortunately, we note that girls and women have to bear the heaviest parts of our social shortcomings. In many parts of the world, for several reasons, girls do not have access to education, which limits their full participation in several spheres of national life. Their full potential is never used. Women are still victims of gender-based violence, and this is exacerbated in regions where there is social, much social strife. In several societies of the world, women still do not have proper access to health care. During the COVID pandemic, we saw women bearing the worst, but also rising to the challenge as health workers, caretakers, administrators and providers. At the OECPS, we believe strongly that women ought to be at the center of decision-making activities. We are deeply aware of the need to have a diverse workforce, but we also make sure that our programs remain sensitive to the interests of women and girls. In December last year, we, ha we had the 10th Heads of State and Government Summit in Luanda. Not only did we have a special women forum, but in the final declaration, the Luanda Declaration, we stated the need to promote a culture that would bring about equality by defending the rights of girls and women. As we celebrate the achievements of our mothers, wives, sisters, and daughters, we should certainly not let ourselves be distracted. Our ultimate goal is to see a world in which little girls of today can be guaranteed to be future leaders of tomorrow. I thank you.